There's a new member of the Fox 26 family that we would like you to meet. He joins the team to cover all of local sports as the next sports reporter and weekend sports anchor. And you'll get your first taste of his work tonight on the Fox 26 News at 10. But we just couldn't wait. Nope. We had to have him here in the morning for an introduction of great day. And um, we're so glad that Gabe Camarillo said yes, because it's going to be a long day having to wake <laughs> up so early. So Gabe, good morning. Thanks for being here. Good morning, Kim. So let's get right into it. Born and raised here at Fresno. Yes, I was and always was a sports fan. My dad took me to all the games. He's a Dodger fan and I became a Giants fan. So that was automatically a big divide <laughs> in our household. But that was one of the things I liked about you as one of my students in class. I'm oh. surrounded by Dodgers fans, it seems. Yeah, well, I'm a Giants the, fan too, the Giants don't buy all their players. You know, the Dodgers <gasps> do. So. Ooh, listen to that. Okay. <laughs> uh, well, let's talk about you can go from a love of sports to then reporting it. Yes. So how did, how did that happen? Well, once I realized that sports athlete wasn't going to be my career, <laughs> everyone finds out it eventually. I found that out yeah. earlier than most. I decided to start writing about them and then talking about them and then taking your class and I found a love for doing both, loving to write and talk about them and doing it on camera. That's what I'm going to do here at KMPH for the yeah. next three years. So. All right. Uh, so we know that you're a Giants fan, but what about other sports? Uh, so with the football, it's Raiders mm -hmm. and that's obviously been tough for the last several, several years as long as I've been alive. And then with the basketball teams, it's the Warriors. So that's all California based. I'm all into the local teams in the pro, pro sports sphere and of course our local teams here in the Valley. So what high school did you go to, by the way? Edison High School. All right. Yeah, Edison High School. Go Tigers. Uh, but I don't want that to be like out there because oh, I know I, <laughs> it's not like you're But that's the thing about being a journalist. You're yes. not going to play favorites when you're doing your reports. Yes, but I, I do like to play favorites with our Valley teams against other teams <laughs> from the state because I feel like and, and everyone can attest to this. The Valley sometimes gets a bad rap. We have amazing competitive teams in all the sports. Football, we had a 13-0 high school football champion. Basketball, one of our local teams went to the highest division and won a game. And in baseball, we're going to see more amazing stuff. So that's really what I want to do here at KMPH is to highlight all those stories. What, I, before you, what have you been doing before coming here? Oh, man, let me get my Where list out. <laughs> uh, no, for real, it's, it's been a year and nine months hosting my own show at ESPN Radio, talking about our local teams. Now it's just going to move to more of a visual medium. Mm -hmm. And I've been writing about them for five years for different publications. Started out with the Clovis Roundup, and now I've moved on to the 24-7 uh, Sports Network, BarkBoard.com. I've been around the valley. I've been around different parts oh, of Fresno. Look at this. You saw Yosemite. That's the Fresno Fair. I don't know why my dad wanted me to pose on my corn dog, but <laughs> there I am. <laughs> That's parents. <laughs> and of you. course, I've been to all the local sporting oh. events. Grizzly games are plenty. Is that your brother? That's my brother. Yes, my younger brother by two years. I'm doing my touchdown dance there. Like I said, my <laughs> athletic career ended at a very early <laughs> age. So. Uh, yeah, I just I've been born and raised in Fresno. I love Fresno. I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. And I just am excited for what this opportunity can bring me. One of the things that I love about you and your reporting, uh, but also just in talking, is that you're not just a, a homer <laughs> who like watches and just says, yeah, you know, but I mean, you have statistics, you, yeah. you have, uh, you're able to put perspective and, and that's a lot in that brain over, uh, you know, a, a young life. Yeah, I remember final scores. I remember certain rushing stats. I can think of, you know, the high school football championship game who had the most rushing yards. I think it's just because I'm passionate about it, but you're also right, I'm not gonna be like, our local teams can do no bad. Um, mm -hmm. if, if there is an important story to break, I'm willing to break it and I'm willing to ask the tough questions because I do think the people in the Valley deserve to have the honest truth out there about their sports teams. You did that recently. Actually, <laughs> we saw that on, on X, formerly known as Twitter. Yes. Asking a hard question and uh, and getting a response that maybe you aren't, and you even said, and, and I use this in class to teach the students <laughs> too, is that you're not gonna be best friends with everybody. That's not your job. Your yeah. job is to ask questions, get the response, because there needs to be accountability. I'm a naturally positive person, but if there's a problem that I view, and this is what I did on my radio show all the time, I speak up about it. Now, how does that look in the TV world? It'll look different, but I still will never compromise my journalistic integrity, no matter where I'm delivering the news. Love it. Is there one thing that you're most excited about or most excited story to work on or? 
Uh, I think this Fresno State football season is going to be really exciting. First of all, they open up in Ann Arbor against the big dogs, Michigan. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? It is. And then, you know, they have a returning quarterback. They have returning superstars offensively, guys who were really good last year and could be even better this year. Kind of reminds me of when they won the Mountain West Championship mm. two years ago. Now, I don't want to put that early out there, never put the cart I before the horse. Did, I kind of did though, right? <laughs> but it's an easier schedule than most years. I think that's what I'm most excited to come in fall time. Okay. And, we, and it looked like we've got so many more recruits coming locally. Yes. And in all the sports at Fresno State, you know, in football, there's a ton of local talent in baseball. They're doing really well. They have a big game tonight against yeah. a nationally ranked team and they have a lot of local talent. And so when you have high schoolers that are great here, that also go to Fresno State. It's like the best of both worlds, and that's yes. why it's so popular when they stay here. All right, I'm getting the rap, sadly. But um, <laughs> Gabe, thanks a lot for waking up early and being here on Great Day. And I know that you're going to be very happy when uh, when we see your work. Thank you, Kim. Yeah, welcome to the team. Thank you.